Hey guys, so new platform and I want to bring to you someone that's working really hard in the industry today and it's Amy Samuels from ETV News. So I just wanted to have a little conversation with you because there's a lot of aspiring broadcasters out there that really want to get tips from the best and you are really doing amazing work. I mean today at the JP21 project, doing amazing work. A lot of journalists aren't actually at this event. So just tell me what's the experience been like for you and how did you get started? Well, firstly, thank you. I appreciate the, the kind vote of confidence. Um, I think for me, starting out in this industry was difficult. I started with two internships um, and then only made it in this industry. So it's, it's been a long six years, yeah. but I think hard work and like determination, when you know what it is that you want in this career and you figure it out immediately then, um, you kind of have a better idea of how to get there, you know. Um, and it's not about the fame, it's never about being in front of a TV or being behind the, the radio mic. It's about bringing stories like this yeah. um, to the platform. And I think that's been my drive to talk more about these stories because like you said, there aren't much media here. And, and it, it actually, it's, it's a bit disappointing because you kind of expect these kind of stories to be, to be out there, especially because there are big names here. Um, and naturally, because of the big names here, you'd, be, you'd expect the journalists to be drawn to it. But I think um, just experiencing this and just seeing how um, how attached these kids are to their sports stars and how much hope they have in, in, in the sport based on their sports stars is incredible and it's remarkable. I mean, we've seen it with the Springboks, we've seen it with a numerous, um, a numerous um South African athletes, just them putting it out there, and them putting their, their their passion out there, and so like boldly, I think it's definitely it's it's been an incredible day to to see. Yeah. You wind there a little bit because I <laughs> caught you on a bus behind the Springboks. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that experience like with the World Cup winning Springboks? Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, I think like I joke about it because people ask what was it like and I say it felt like we were champions on that bus because wow. you were literally behind the bus where people were shouting for um, the spring box and then naturally people think you're also part of the box but we're not, we're just media <laughs> and then when they see you have a camera they shout even more so you're kind of inclined to do the whole royal wave um, it was amazing, it was, I, I've, I never in my wildest shoes thought I'd be on a, on a media bus behind the spring box um, but it was, it was incredible to see see it from their point of view, see the fans from their point of view and just exactly what they are driving into and what they've been going, I mean we, we did the Cape Town leg but just seeing what the five days had been like for them and it, I mean we were tied after that day, imagine how the Springboks felt for five days, yeah. Okay so just one more question and it's about the fans out there and the fanatics, this platforms for fanatics, I want to know I don't know how much cricket you have been able to watch because you're covering so many different things. <laughs> but what have you thought so far of the standard of uh, the Mzansi Super League? You know, I'm actually one of the guilty ones who haven't had a chance to go to the Mzansi Super League yet. Not even as a media um, a journalist, not even as a, a normal citizen. I haven't been able to go because I've just been so busy with work. Yeah. But from what I've seen is that it's not as as hyped up as it was last year which is very disappointing because I think like especially when it comes to competitions like that where we have the first one and we're all excited and then the second one comes and we're not as excited and we should be because this is the platform where um, athletes get to to showcase their talent in a raw form and in an, on an international platform so it's for the youngsters this is what we want we want the youngsters to get the platform so it is disappointing but on the other hand seeing, seeing teams like Paul Rocks take the initiative and make it their own you know make it um, their responsibility to bring the fans to the stadium. So, like Faf mentioned, going out to the schools and bringing those schools to the stadium. So, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of um, groundwork to do. But I think it, it does work both ways. You know, we can't only rely on social media. We can't only rely on um, TV broadcasts to bring the, the people to the stadiums. We've got to actually put ourselves out there. Thank you very much, Amy, and You're good welcome. luck for the rest of your career. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You.